What's the difference between vimperator and pentadactyl? I've been using vimperator for a few months and loving it, although it makes it hard for me to go back to primitive mousery on others' computers. I've seen that there's a fork called pentadactyl, but I can't tell what the difference is. Is there any particular reason to use one over the other? Why was it forked? I'm the project founder and still main developer of Vimperator. I have summarized my own perceived differences between the two projects here. This URL. Project move to GitHub, a clone of the link. This URL. Please read the whole page, but if you really need a short summary, because you just wasted time fighting Pentadactyl's complexity smile, here it is. Vimperator, the main focus is on usability, simplicity, stability and design while still preserving a powerful, modal browsing experience influenced by Vim. Pentadactyl, the aim is to create a complex beast, where hackers with too much free time can do any, unimaginable thing. Also focuses more on one-to-one -one Vim compatibility. Hope this helps a little. I am sure both projects have their target audiences. Maybe the facts section on the page you linked to could be helpful, in particular this URL and this URL. The main difference is that Vimperator's most active developers have moved on to Pentadactyl. More qualitative changes may be found in the change log, but essentially add up to what we consider more active and thoughtful development. Among the most visible differences, as of Pentadactyl 1.0, are more extensive Firefox 4 support, significantly better startup time and completion performance, considerably better, column sanitize, and private mode support, a greatly improved incremental find implementation, major improvements in X command parsing, including the ability to separate commands with, and split long commands across lines, conditionals, column if, column else, in configuration files, greatly updated documentation, and a number of bug fixes. I cannot say anything about the politics behind both projects, but here is what I think Slash have found out about both the projects. Development activity both projects have pretty much same amount of commits in last couple of months. As for quality and impact of each commit, I can't say much without checking the code, but from commit messages it seems to be quite similar too. Pentadactyl is always one or few version behind the Firefox releases. Usability For average user, Vimperator seems much easier to use. While Pentadactyl has a steeper learning curve but would feel very similar to Vim users 1. 2.1. Key mapping. The options in key mapping in Vimperator are much easier to remember for average users. For instance, to show menu bar. In Vimperator you can simply, column set GUI equals menu, substitute navigation for navigation bar, tabs for tab bar etc. Whereas in Pentadactyl it is, column set go plus equals n or column set the options plus equals m a single character for each item which is also case sensitive. 2.2 Customization On the other hand, you can customize a lot more options in Pentadactyl than you can do in Vimperator. Taking our previous example, in Pentadactyl you can turn on and off bookmark bar, status bar, side scroll bar, bottom scroll bar and lot more using the same method as mentioned above, whereas Vimperator supports much less customization. Design, Vimperator has a much more modern look than Pentadactyl. Depending on what is important to you, both projects are good. If you don't care about aesthetics too much and are willing to spend some time learning the exact commands, or look them up and help, 
which is pretty simple to navigate, but want lots of customization options, or if you are looking for more Vim-like experience, Pentadactyl is for you. On the other hand, if you are an average Vim user who wants to turn their browser experience to keyboard use only but don't want to spend too much time learning Vimperato is for you. 1. Basic functionality is similar in both, like open pages, going back in history, closing tabs etc. It's the other features that I am talking about. Two, Vimperado may have options hidden deep down to enable slash disable other GUI options, but even if they exist, they are not as visible as Pentadactyl. 's not a technical comparison, but as a user I can see one difference. With Pentadactyl you are always on the previous version of Firefox, or maybe previous. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.